Hello and welcome. My name is Kai Lindberger, and today I'd like to introduce how to work with a glass with foil, which means I'd like to introduce a laminated glass type in Chicago. And uh, it's, it's a short video, and I want to talk um, how to create a laminated glass. So we create a unit and insert the laminated glass, and we also print the glass composition. So now I go directly in to Chical and I create a new project, should be triple zero one. And the description is a laminated glass. Then I make a double click on my project because I like to give the example for the project defined glass. And now I go here to the plus and add a new glass type. It's automatically named ST1. Then I go to the submenu here. That is my T1. If you like, you can add a glass supplier. I've prepared one that is glass Maya. Click on OK. And if possible, you can add an article number, but I want to add a description. And that should be float glass, four millimeter foil of 0.76 millimeter. And then I choose again float glass. Four millimeter. The next input is you can decide if you want to get the color from the unit display. I want to try it to define, and we define the color a little bit later. So, what you can do now here, you can go to the glass types and then you can define a fault type. If you click on that, you can define a new fault type here. If you go on that, so you are able to name this and it should be a PVB for 0.76. And here you can define the fault thickness and the thickness is 0.76 millimeter. And the next step is to define a uh, foil weight. It is 40 kJ per cubic meter. You can define a node, PBB foil. And then you can apply your data and you go to OK. Now you have defined the foil. And here, in the next step, you can define a new laminated glass. If you click on that, it should be VSG with 0.76 PVB foil. here on the right hand side so um, if the glass has got a permission as a laminated safety glass you can check the box here and here you can define the composite construction from the outside to the inside and if you click on the green plus first you define the glass type it should be float glass then again, you click on this plus at a foil type, and the foil type should be your PVB foil 0.76. And the next is also the glass type. It should also be float glass. So by the way, you can define as many layers 
as you like. So also if you have a triple glazing or double glazing, you can define different blast types for that. And then we go to apply and okay. So then you're inside your dialog here to define the glass. And instead of the double insulating glass, I use the single glazing. And here you see glass type outside, you can define float glass. But now if you go down, you have got here your customized glass VSG with 0.76 PVB foil. And then you can define the thickness. The first thickness should be four millimeter. The foil type is already defined and the thickness too should also be four millimeter. And then your decision is how to round it around to the nearest millimeter. You see that eight millimeter, that's the nearest or round it up to the nearest so that you get a nine millimeter glass thickness because four millimeter and four millimeter and 0.76 might be rounded to nine millimeter. The UG value, let's assume that is 5.6 because it's a single glazing. The price, let's say 100 euro per square meter. And finally, you can define the glass color and let's make a green one. That I do this for unit and also for the drawing and also for the list. Okay, by the way, you can also define this glass during the, uh, using the general tab. And if you go to the glass and panel data. So if you do this with the glass and panel data, it is um, available for everybody working within a network. But you can also define it as a project glass so that it does not appear in the general data tab. So then, I create a new item and that is a smoke protection item. And here I double click on it and I want to introduce the laminated glass with the profile system ADS76 an ISP. And where do you find this? You go to the window stores, then you go to the doors. And here you've got fire and smoke protection, inward opening, and I want to use a tick lead construction method. Single leaf door, click on my single leaf door, inward opening, select the profile system, and then I go on OK. As you can see now, your construction is applied with a glass. And let's take a closer look to the section. Here you've got your laminated glass and with a nine millimeter thickness and the fold between. And I want to give you an idea also how to label it. If you make a multiple selection, selection through your item, you double click on it. Here you've got your glazing and you can go to the left hand side profile section label. And as soon as you click on glass and panel, it will also be labeled here in your sketch. Float glass four millimeter plus PVB foil. And again, float glass four millimeter. What else can you do if you go to the output 
and you make a printout of your glass and panel composition. You click on that, you can see the options first, how to get the composition, and then choose primary sorting by glass and panel type and secondary sorting by supplier. Then you go to OK. And here you've got the glass and panel composition with the full description here, composition of your glazing unit in millimeter, it's VSG, float glass, PVB foil, and float glass. And the total thickness is given here, including the UG value. So ladies and gentlemen, that, as I said, it is a very short video just to show you how to work with a laminated glass. I hope that will be helpful in your daily work. And um, thank you for your attention. I say goodbye and auf Wiedersehen.